Okay. Day three? Yeah, okay, we'll call it day three. Ah, fuck, I forgot the batteries inside. Anyway, I'll grab those in a second. Today is going to be a little less destructive and a little more cleanup. Like this guy, these need to be ground until they set themselves free. And this whole piece can come off. I believe I'm going to leave this like it is for now until I find obviously like a smoking deal on a fuel cell. Once I get a fuel cell, I can cut that out from the top and then plate over the hole and mount the fuel cell there. This needs to be cut away and cleaned up and boxed in for plate for the cage. All of this goop has to be, oh man. Ah, I have a wire wheel. Wire wheel will take this stuff right off. Definitely wear long sleeves, gloves, glasses, maybe even a face shield. That stuff is gonna get hot and it's gonna sling it everywhere, including the wires from the wire wheel. They're gonna break and shoot off. Then to the front, I think just because I'm a cheap ass, I'm gonna keep this radiator set up for now. So it's kind of stupid that I'm gonna cut all of this out and then have to fabricate mounts for that radiator, but whatever. So I gotta cut this out, but I also have to remove these ABS sensor. I think that, yeah, that's gotta be for the ABS sensor. We gotta remove those and then relocate them somewhere else, probably have them running down the uh, the brake line. That'll keep it out of the way, hopefully. Then it won't be forward of this rail and I can cut straight through it. I'm also going to cut around this tower. I'm gonna reinforce that with a piece of tube. Then from that piece of tube, I will have my windshield arch tube and then another tube coming out and around and down and back to either the tube itself or some plates power steering not real sure um comment below if you guys do autocross or road racing i know it makes it a million times easier to drift but in the miata they always tend to overheat when you're drifting and they boil over and it's not very efficient so i could delete it and then depower the rack. I have a video on that. It's not that hard to do, but it is a couple hours of work. However, if it's gonna be easier for me to autocross with the power steering, I think I'm gonna leave it in. I'm pretty much, you know, like less work, cheapest fix possible. If it ain't broke, don't fix it type of guy, but I kinda wanna leave it in until it either overheats, explodes, breaks, or is just completely inefficient for what I'm doing. And then I'll remove it. It's not that much weight. The power steering pump is the size of my fist. The reservoir, I mean, it's, again, that's not that heavy at all. The AC compressor, however, below it is coming off. That thing is heavy. I don't need it. I'm not running AC or heat. Full delete on that. Cruise control has got to come out. I think there's a cruise control box somewhere over here, if I remember correctly. Maybe not. It might just be the, in the module, in the dash. But anybody wants cruise, it's plug and play. And then I need to do some wire delete, obviously. Basically just trim down the harness, shorten the harness there, put everything mounted to the firewall in a nice convenient spot with a breaker. And then remove all the wires for like radio and speakers and you know, ounces add up to pounds. So I'll get, oh. So I'm gonna get all the wiring out that is not necessary. Definitely need to clean that. Probably the clutch is the same. Ooh, empty. No wonder she's a crunchy. Ooh. Well, that's gonna get some attention. I'll deal with that later. That's the plan for the day. I'm gonna I'm gonna chop up as much as I can. I may end up cutting the windshield out. I'm not real sure yet. I need to get the motor out and the wipers off. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll go from there. Man, that's a lot of sawzall blades. Anyway, 
think I got it. Anyway, now I need to plate over this. Make like a dash. Switches. You know, the usual. Um, that'll be next. Probably cut all this off. All right, it's coming along. Got a steering wheel. If any of you guys know what I need to buy to make this work, that would be cool. Otherwise, got that. It's pretty much ready. I want to fire it up, but there's a lot of wiring to go through. I got to connect all the grounds, etc., etc. So. I'm gonna wrap it up for today. I'm sweating. It's so hot today. I don't understand. Go get a shower, eat some food, drink a beer. Wow, that's a lot of work. So, click that like button if you like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.